Today I'm gonna make some coconut chicken and I am pairing it with a homemade coconut milk and turmeric sauce. Don't get intimidated by the word turmeric. If you don't have turmeric for this recipe, skip it. You can just make a beautiful coconut lime sauce. The weirdest ingredient you need are coconut flakes, but I can guarantee there will be some at the store. I highly doubt that people are taking all the coconut flakes off the shelves for their pandemic pantry. I just, it's not really a coveted item, it's more of a flavor thing. So if you can get these, they're great for desserts. You can make a chicken, you can make coconut shrimp. To lay it all out, I have two chicken breasts. I'm making a meal for two. I also have my ingredients for my sauce. Now, the way you thicken a sauce is with a thickener, right? Duh! But you can use a starch or a flour. Just to keep things healthy in this recipe, and I've tested it multiple times, I'm using a chickpea flour. You can use a gluten-free all-purpose flour, regular all-purpose flour, you can even use tapioca starch, corn starch, it will result in a different texture for your sauce if you use a starch versus a flour. I love the flour and the starch gives it kind of a flubbery texture but it definitely thickens it and you're fine either way. I chose turmeric for this recipe because it actually has a lot of health benefits. It is a natural anti-inflammatory and if you have it in your pantry, you might as well use it. If you don't, you might as well skip it. No big deal. But if you do have it and you've never used it before, it does have a grassy, earthy flavor. It's like a, a very earthy mustard. Our first step of the recipe is to pound the chicken. I have two chicken breasts. I have dried them off and I have some saran wrap on top. Now you can get creative with this. You can use a bottle of wine, a hammer, a heavy potato. You're just gonna have to wash that potato afterwards. I am literally going to use a hammer and I'm gonna just start lightly pounding my chicken. Give your chicken a little spanking in between all of the pounding. This sounds very, very, very dirty. So you'll see I'm flattening it like this. I do have wine in this bottle, so this is what I do. The goal here is to make the chicken breast evenly thick throughout the entire space. So we don't want this thinner than this. We want it all to be of even thickness. Beautiful. You can literally use your hand. Okay, that looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna switch sides. Now it's time that we coat our chicken breasts in some coconut flakes and we're just going to dredge them the way we normally would. We're gonna fully coat it in flour. I'm using chickpea flour. You can use gluten-free all-purpose, all-purpose, any flour you want except for like bread flour. In the egg wash. Flour, then egg wash. Now we're gonna coat it in the coconut flakes. Do not be shy with these, because this is going to create all of that flavor. I'm gonna start it off by sauteing them in a pan. I'm using a cast iron skillet because I'm gonna transfer it to my oven. I'm gonna wait until that is shimmering. I've also preheated my oven to 350. Just using my hands here, I'm gonna put it on the pan. Repeat with a second. Gonna flip, be careful. You should see that coconut is getting nice and toasty. Woo! Golden brown. And if there are any empty spots, you can just throw some more coconut in the pan to toast it a little bit. I've toasted one side, so now I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna let this cook. I don't wanna overcook and burn the coconut. I just wanted to get that one side nice and crispy. Now I'm gonna work on my sauce. I'm gonna turn my heat on medium. First thing I'm gonna add is some coconut oil. If you do not have coconut oil, you can substitute vegetable, canola, olive oil, or avocado oil throughout the entire recipe. The first step here is to kind of make a roux. Now, it's very different than a traditional roux because we're using the ingredients with coconut oil and some chickpea flour or whatever flour that you have. But all in all, it is still a roux. Just a little bit of the milk, like half, no, quarter, quarter. And we're gonna add our turmeric powder. Get a whisk, by the way. Add all of that turmeric powder. Take your flour and 
continue to whisk all of it at once. We're only using a little bit right now. And make sure we're fully incorporating it. And you should see this mixture begin to really thicken. If you notice that the flour you're using is really lumpy, chickpea flour tends to get a little more lumpy than regular all-purpose flour, then what you should do is use a blender at the end to blend everything up. But this sauce is supposed to have some texture. See how thick that is? That's essentially my roux. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my coconut milk. Lime juice. Grated ginger. Grated garlic. Now we're just gonna whisk. Now you can see this has developed a much thicker consistency. My sauce feels nice and thick. It's because we reduced it down. My chicken is perfectly golden brown. Nice. We are at 168 and we are golden and good to go. I want to break that crust, so I'm just going to use spatula and grab my chicken, put it on the plate like that. I like doing it on an angle because it looks pretty and sits nicely. Now, if any of the coconut crust comes off, you can put it back on and do a dramatic neon colored drizzle. Ooh. Oh my God. No matter what you eat with this, this sauce is phenomenal. So delicious. Top with some cilantro and zest some lime. And tap next to the chicken. It gives it a nice pop of color. There you have it. Oh my God, it's so pretty, it's so cute. And I'm just gonna plate the other one, but I'm gonna plate the second one on some rice so you can see how I would do that as well. She's done. You just gotta love it. Oh, oh my God. I can already smell the flavor that's gonna happen. That is so good. We all need another creative way to eat chicken, right? It's the most basic protein. A lot of you guys had it on hand. I love the chicken, but the highlight of this dish is that sauce. You can serve anything with that sauce got a zestiness, creamy, nutty, earthiness, all of it together, and it tastes so good. It incorporates turmeric, garlic, and ginger, which are all really good for you. Another fun thing we did with the jasmine rice is we waited for it to be fully absorbed, and it was very sticky. So we decided to make these rice balls, and we dipped it in the sauce. Now, that on its own tastes so good. So if you do not have chicken or coconut or you're vegan and you wanna eat this in a fun way, make rice balls and just dip it in. Oh. All right guys, I will see you soon. Um, let me know any recipes that you want me to make. I love hearing your suggestions and I would love to see if you make this. And if you do, tag me on Instagram. It's Dining with Skylar and Skylar Bouchard. I have two accounts, I always say this. I have two personalities, whatever. Um, and all of my recipes can be found on withskylar.com and I hope you enjoy them. So I will see you guys later. Stay safe, stay healthy, don't stay hungry, keep eating, and I hope you have a lovely day.